Hello my dear viewers. So we all know that living organisms about living organisms and non-living things, right? So uh, we distinguish themselves as they are alive either or not alive. So how we can find out who is alive and who is not alive? By their features and the features for an example we can say animals they eat, they run, they walk, they shout, they cry. What about plants then? How we can differentiate them? Yes, exactly. They grow. They give fruits, flowers and from that basis we find out that plants are alive. But what about any animals who is sleeping? How we will find out that he or she is alive or not? Yes, we can find out by breathing, whether they are breathing or not. If they are not, they are not alive. And if they are breathing, they are alive. Namaskar and welcome to Gyanya Tretu Praj. Today we are going to discuss about life processes chapter 6 class 10 NCIT so we have seen some organisms are live alive and some are not alive and those who are alive because of some basic functions and this basic function is nothing but we call life processes. So life processes is something very basic functions or process which is performing inside the body of a living organism. It is happening inside us, it is happening inside plants, it is happening inside other living organisms. So uh, we will see how these life processes maintain life in any living organism. The first thing we will, which we will see, the life processes, what are the life processes are there which is maintaining life or the basic functions which is happening, present inside us and is maintaining the life. So, the life processes, there are different distinguished life processes are there. The first one is, we consider it as nutrition, right? Then it is next one is respiration, then transportation, and then the excretion process, and then the excretion process. So, nutrition, respiration transportation and excretion broadly divided as different life processes which is happening and in today's chapter we will discuss about nutrition what is this nutrition nutrition it is the process of intake of nutrients and as you have already studied already learned in your uh, previous classes about the nutrition process where we intake the nutrients and what are the nutrients it is intake of nutrients and we have different nutrients available suppose we can consider carbohydrate then fats then proteins then vitamins minerals dietary fiber all are nutrients so all these nutrients all these nutrients how it is important why we take these nutrients we will discuss before that we will see the two basic types of nutrition process and these two types of nutrition process are first is autotropic nutrition and heterotropic nutrition 
and in today's video we will discuss about autotrophic nutrition let's see what is autotrophic nutrition these plants they perform autotrophic nutrition autotrophic nutrition are classified into two one is photosynthesis process and another one is chemosynthesis process chemosynthesis where chemical is released to synthesize the food to break down the food and to synthesize the fruit and photosynthesis in presence of light the food is formed so autotrophic means the formation of food by self so these plants they form the food by themselves so the leaves are the main part who is responsible for making the food and this is which we called kitchen as it contain chloroplast which is a uh, which contains a green pigment that is called chlorophyll is responsible for making food in presence of light right and it contains stomata which is just present here in this beneath right which cause exchange of gases and through this it takes the carbon dioxide so there are some raw materials required for the uh, uh for the uh, need of preparation of the food and the raw materials required water we give water to the plants we give water to the plants it requires soil from soil uh, it takes the uh, minerals right whatever minerals it has it takes the minerals from the soil and uh, it requires carbon dioxide so the carbon dioxide it takes from the air right so these are the things raw materials required and most specially the thing is the sunlight the sunlight it requires for making it we have seen that in autotrophic nutrition photosynthesis and chemosynthesis are two parts here i will just little more i will explain about autotrophic meaning auto means self tropic or trophy means nutrition so self prepared nutrition chemosynthesis chemo means chemical and using the chemical they synthesize the food generally examples are bacteria photosynthesis examples are plants green plants even algae also comes here photo we who takes light in presence of light in the formation of food now we have seen what are the raw materials it requires then it requires most mostly chlorophyll the green pigment which is present in the chloroplast as well as the stomata for the exchange of gases through which we can get the raw material that is carbon dioxide so the carbon dioxide is mostly important then the roots absorb the water and then they form the glucose and uh, along with that it release oxygen and water so water it remains inside the body of the plant and oxygen they release again through the stomata what are the events comes here it is very much important what are the events occur here the first thing the chlorophyll will come into the action right uh, the light will fall when it will fall on the green part of the plant the chlorophyll will trap the light energy right it has some frequency wavelength nanometer in nanometer we denote it 700 680 nanometer that much light energy it will trap right it will trap the light energy after trapping the light energy now this light energy will convert into chemical energy and we know that chemical energy the currency of energy is atp yes exactly atp so atp adenosine triphosphate that will form with this help light energy will convert into chemical energy that chemical energy is atp and the water which it will intake here the water will get split out it will release hydrogen and oxygen it will split out right this oxygen will release later on and then the hydrogen will give provide electron and it will become proton also so it is little complicated just remember the water will also get split now with the help of atp and the electrons the carbon dioxide will get reduced into carbohydrates right all these three events are included in two 
types of reaction dark reaction and light reaction right so this is what three events takes place in the process that is photosynthesis in the photosynthesis process this three event takes place okay now these three events which takes place in the process it doesn't require key it will go one by one right as it is written here one example i will take generally the cactus or the desert plant as desert having very high temperature and may in, and it may lose lots of water if it will open up the stomata for protecting this they take carbon dioxide at night and then they make an intermediate and then at day time they take the light energy and then they make the carbohydrate so there is a differences now chlorophyll we can see chlorophyll uh, pigment it entrap the light energy but how does the stomata function let's see how does the stomata function here now we will see the role of stomata so the role of stomata is exchange of gases the stomata which is present in the epidermal layer it form perform the exchange of gases either it will release carbon dioxide or it will take carbon dioxide or it will release oxygen or it will take oxygen as well as it conduct transpiration process which we will see later on now this is the structure of the stomata this is stomata this is guard cell this is uh, all this comprises called stomatal aperture now the stomata get open or close right the stomata opening of stomata and closing of stomata it depends on the movement of water right the water when it flows inside the leaf and when it comes to the epidermal layer epidermal cell the entry of water make the guard cell swell the guard cell will swell up when the guard cell will swell up it will help in the opening of the stomata and when water will flow out of the leaf and when it will flow out of the epidermal cell also means then what will happen the guard cell will shrink and the shrinkage of stomata shrinkage of sorry guard cell will cause the closing of stomata so like this the stomata open and close because always if it will remain open the transpiration may occur and the transpiration is already you have studied this the transpiration is the movement the removal of water vapor right so because of that opening and closing takes place here we have seen that how photosynthesis process takes place where the plants prepare their own food this food if it is utilized then it will remain as a glucose if it's not utilized then it gets stored as in the form of starch so the whole process which we have seen autotrophic process where the photosynthesis especially is there in your chapter we have seen and the next auto heterotrophic process we will see in the next video so tab tak ke liye hai dhanyawad thank you